Here's a poem for the Feast of Pentecost. Our scripture passage comes from Paul's letter to the Romans. In the same way, the Spirit, too, comes to the aid of our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought. After Babel, the divine friend chooses to listen to our prayer as a courtesy. We chatter our fears, pile words on words to pierce through the clouds. Animals pray just by being, but even they get distracted by fear. The trees, the towering trees, are naturally fluent in God's first language. Silence. Since we persist in our cacophony, Jesus sent the Spirit that someday, maybe, our babble will come to harmony.